Writing equations for combustion reactions. In this problem it says which of the following is the balanced equation for the combustion of ethanol, C2H6O, oxygen, in pure oxygen. So what this means is that we're going to have C2H6O or ethanol, oxygen, um, so ethanol being burned in oxygen. So that's the combustion. Sometimes it'll say burned in oxygen or it might say combustion, but it most of the time will say burned in oxygen. So we know that we have to have C2H6O plus O2, which usually produces for combustion reactions H2O plus CO2 carbon dioxide. So we have both here. Now that we know the basics, we know that A it can is not right because A does not include O2. So we know it's a combustion reaction. This is kind of com doing a synthesis reaction, combining the two and making one, making one compound. But actually, we're looking for a combustion reaction. So if we look here, we can see and start eliminating. C is wrong because notice the coefficient is here in place where in a place it shouldn't be. It should be before the oxygen. So C is wrong. Okay. And D E, as we can see, E is wrong because we know that it's not balanced. C, there's one C here and there's two C's on this side. So this one is not balanced. So E is out of the running. So now we're left with B and D. We have to check which one is correctly balanced. So what you have to do is just count the electrons, count the atoms on both sides. So here we want to, let's start with carbon, two carbons, two carbons. Remember that there's a, a one here, so I would just multiply two times one and I get two. And then we have six H's and if I do three times two, I get six H's on this side. And we have seven oxygens. Don't be confused because here it means 3 times 2 plus 1 oxygen here, which is going to give us 7. Do not forget to look and check for the other, other oxygens or other atoms. So that's 7 on this side, and then 3 times oxygen here, which is 3, and then 2 times 2, times two which is going to give me 4. So 4 plus 3 is also going to give me 7 that's going to give me seven oxygen. So both of them on both sides have two carbons, seven oxygens, and six hydrogens. So that is the correct balancing of the equation. And so B is the correct answer, and D is not right because we're only looking for one answer. And if an equation is, when you balance it, it you can divide all the numbers by a certain number, that means you can reduce it down, then you should be able to do that there. So this equation could be right, but it has two CH26 and everything is doubled. So if I can divide all of these by two, by a common, by a common factor or denominator, I would do that so that I could arrive at a balanced equation like B. So B is the correct answer for this problem.